you whom I couldn't save, listen to me. Try to understand this simple speech as I would be ashamed of another. I swear there is in me no wizardry of words. I speak to you with silence, like a cloud or a tree. What strengthened me for you was little. You mixed up far well to an epoch with the beginning of a new one, inspiration of hatred with lyrical beauty, blind force with accomplished shape. Here is the valley of shallow Polish rivers and an immense bridge going into white fog. Here is a broken city and the wind throws the screams of goals on your grave when I am talking with you. What is poetry which doesn't save nations or people? A connivance with official lies, a song of drunkards whose throats will be cut in a moment, readings for sophomore girls. That I wanted good poetry without knowing it, that I discovered late its salutary aim, in this, and only this, I find salvation. They used to pour millet on graves or poppy seeds to feed the dead who would come disguised as birds. I put this book here for you, who once lived, so that you should visit us no more. I, I lived through a rebellion against California landscapes. Mm. I was born and brought up in Lithuania in a valley which is considered uh, one of the most beautiful in Lithuania. So the, there is a feeling of coziness there. I didn't choose California. It was given to me. What can the wet north say to the scorched emptiness? Grayish clay, dried up creek beds, hills the color of straw, and the rocks assembled like Jurassic reptiles. For me, this is the spirit of the place. And the fog from the ocean creeping over it all, incubating the green in the arroyos, and the prickly oak and the thistles. Where is it written that we deserve the earth for a bride, that we plunge in her deep, clear waters and swim, carried by generous currents? Uh, I should add that uh, another element in my biography as a child, that was at the time of uh, the First World War. Yes. Uh, I was in Russia, and so there is a mixture of of some Russian landscapes, like the Volga, seen by, by a child. Yes. <coughs> An enormous river. Rivers. Under various names, I have praised only you, rivers. You are milk and honey and love and death and dance. From a spring in hidden grottos, sipping from mossy rocks, where a goddess pours like water from a pitcher, at clear streams in the meadow, where rills murmur underground, your race and my race begin, and amazement and quick passage. Naked, I expose my face to the sun, steering with hardly a dip of the paddle. Oak woods, fields, a pine forest skimming by, Around every bend, the promise of the earth, village smoke, sleepy herds, flights of martins over sandy bluffs. I entered your water slowly, step by step, and the current in that silence took me by the knees, until I surrendered and it carried me, and I swam through the huge reflected sky 
of a triumphant noon. I was on your banks at the onset of midsummer night, and the full moon rolls out and lips touch in the rituals of kissing. I hear in myself now as then the lapping of water by the boathouse and the whisper that calls me in for an embrace and for consolation. We go down with the bells ringing in all the sunken cities, forgotten we are greeted by the embassies of the dead, while your endless flowing carries us on and on, and, and neither is nor was, the moment only, eternal. California landscapes grow on you, and uh, especially the feeling of uh, a height of being like we are here, yes. and having the bay below and hills below. A fragment from a poem with trumpets and zitters. At dawn, the expanse takes its rise, a high horizontal whiteness up to the slopes of Tamalpais. It is torn apart, and in the wool of vapor, a herd of islands and promontories on their watery pastures. Knife blue in twilight, a rose tinted tin, liquid copper, isumrud smaragdos. Quiverfuls of buildings touched by a ray. Oakland, San Francisco, before the Mica in motion lights up below. Berkeley, El Cerrito. In the oceanic wind, eucalyptus husks clashing and disentangling. Height, length, and width take in their arms a sleeping caterpillar of her old body and carry it over a frozen waste of the Sierras to the most distant province of the continent. Layers of Christmas tinsels wheel round cities on the bay, buckled by luminous ropes of three bridges. In the hour of ending night, it amazes. This place, this time, a sign for an awakening of this particular body. When I was, uh, I guess, 12, I had an obsession uh, of uh, wilderness. I wanted to uh, change uh, everything into untouched wilderness. Good. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> and I was drawing maps of imaginary countries uh, covered by forest. Uh -huh. And the only means of transportation would be canoes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But so, so my, uh, I had my, my dream of uh, a virgin land. Yes. Here, standing here above those hills, I feel I have a sort of feeling of gratitude. Mm. Pure beauty, benediction. You are all I gathered from a life that was bitter and confused, in which I learned about evil, my own and not my own. Wonder kept seizing me, and I recall only wonder. Risings of the sun over endless green, a universe of grasses and flowers opening to the first light, blue outline of the mountain and the Hosanna shout. I asked how many times, is this the truth of the earth? How can laments and curses be turned into hymns? What makes you need to pretend when you know better? But the lips praised on their own. On their own, the feet ran. The heart beat strongly, and the tongue proclaimed its adoration. We really are uh, emigres and exiles, uh, whether we are, uh, we live work, uh, our village, uh, our country. Uh, or just uh, move within the same country from one part to another. From a poem entitled, It Was Winter, uh, I read uh, the English version, a fragment. We are poor people, much afflicted. We camped under various stars, where you dip water with a cup from a muddy river, 
and slice your bread with a pocket knife, this is the place, accepted, not chosen. We remember that there were streets and houses where we came from, so there had to be houses here, a saddler's signboard, a small veranda with a chair, but empty, a country where the thunder beneath the rippled skin of the earth, the breaking waves, a patrol of pelicans nullified us. As if our vases brought here from another shore were the dug up spearheads of some lost tribe who fed on lizards and acorn flower. And here I am, walking the eternal earth, tiny, leaning on a stick. I pass a volcanic park, lie down at a spring, not knowing how to express what is always and everywhere. The earth I cling to is so solid under my breast and belly that I feel grateful for every pebble and I don't know whether it is my pulse or the earth that I hear when the hems of invisible silk vestments pass over me hands, wherever they have been, touch my arm, or a small laughter once, long ago, over wine, with lanterns in the magnolias, for my house is huge. Earth has a feminine and a masculine form? No, 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 the earth is uh, always feminine, mm -hmm. but since the noun is feminine, writing about uh, being on, touching the, being on the earth, uh, acquires erotic uh, meaning. That's love making to the earth. We are shaped by the landscape in which we grew up. And then we have to assimilate the landscape, for instance, of California, and to make a fusion of the two. Mm. And sometimes it's very difficult. A poem on living in Berkeley. I sleep a lot and read St. Thomas Aquinas or the death of God, that's a Protestant book. To the right, the bay, as if molten thin, beyond the bay, city, beyond the city, ocean, beyond the ocean, ocean, till Japan. To the left, dry hills with white grass, beyond the hills, an irrigated valley where rice is grown, beyond the valley, mountains and ponderosa pines, beyond the mountains, desert and sheep. When I couldn't do without alcohol, I drove myself on alcohol. When I couldn't do without cigarettes and coffee, I drove myself on cigarettes and coffee. I was courageous, industrious, nearly a model of virtue, but that is good for nothing. Please, doctor, I feel a pain. Not here, no, not here. Even I don't know. Maybe it's too many islands and continents unpronounced words, bazaars, wooden flutes, or too much drinking to the mirror without beauty. The one was to be a kind of archangel or a St. George over there on St. George Street. Please, medicine man, I feel a pain. I always believed in spells and incantations. Sure, women have only one Catholic soul, but we have two. When you start to dance, you visit remote pueblos in your sleep and even lands you have never seen. Put on, I beg you, charms made of feathers. Now it's time to help one of your own. I have read many books, but I don't believe them. When it hurts, we return to the banks of certain rivers. I remember those crosses with chiseled suns and moons and wizards, how they work during an outbreak of typhus. Send your second soul beyond the mountains, beyond time. Tell me what you saw. I will wait. That was my, my intention when I was in high school to become a naturalist mm. and to study biology. And then I felt that somehow I betrayed a noble vocation and becoming a, a writer. Next fragment, first in the original, then in translation. I skąd że ten entuzjazm, jeżeli śmierć blisko? Czy będziesz widział i słyszał i czuł? 
ale ziemia do niczego niepodobna. Jakie lądy, jakie morza, jakie dziwo widowisko. W sali cierpień, jak obficie, zastawiony stół. Muzyka trwa, choć tych, którzy ją grali, nie ma. Ani haksamitów, ni nawet podwiązki. Międzyplanetarni w gąszczu smyczki wzięli. W swoich wioskach piją, wrzeszczą, grzmocą w kości z umarłymi na wariackiej karuzeli. A ja tak zostałem doświadczony, że nie mogłem pisać oskarżenia, bo wesele razem z płaczem przychodziło. To i co, że zaraz będę z tamtej strony? Życie słodko, ale i nie patrzeć. Bardzo miło. And why all this ardor, if death is so close? Do you expect to hear and see and feel there? But you know the earth is like no other place. What continents, what oceans, what a show it is. In the hall of pain, what abundance on the table. The music endures, but not the music maker. No velvet of his survives, not even a garter. And space-age men in thickets lift bows to fiddles. Drink in their villages, squabble, let dice rattle with the dead perched on a giddy carousel. And I have lived a life that makes me feel unable to bring myself to write an accusation. Joy would spurt in amid the lamentation. So what if in a minute I must close the book? Life sweet, but it might be pleasant not to have to look. I am content with Berkeley and with a view Mm -hmm. on the bay mm -hmm. a feeling of this this is the most permanent feature for several years for me yeah looking from above from the hills uh, this is a fragment from the separate notebooks uh, a woman speaks uh, a dead person you talked but after your talking all the rest remains after your talking, poets, philosophers, contrivers of romances. Everything else, all the rest, deduced inside the flesh, which lives and knows, not just what is permitted. I am a woman who held fast, now in a great silence. Not all creatures have your need for words. Birds who killed, fish to you tossed into your boat, in what words will they find rest, and in what heaven? You received gifts from me, they were accepted, but you don't understand how to think about the dead, the scent of winter apples, of hoar frost, and of linen. There are nothing but gifts on this poor, poor earth. I was brought upon American books uh, on nature, not necessarily American, because uh, uh, America was described by some authors who are completely unknown in America, by, by authors who were of European background, like Thomas Main Reed, who was Irish, a very good observer of nature, and uh, he taught me uh, observation of nature, and I wanted to be to become a naturalist.